All right, we've got 0x, pattern 154, and it's another little brain teaser of a pattern. Um, both groupings have problem balls. Of course, the solids have this 1, 2, 5 um, that are kind of in a weird spot. The big problem ball, I think, is this 6. You have to get perfect on the 6 ball because if you're on either side of the wrong side of the pocket line, it's kind of hard to get out of this area onto another ball. Uh, you're going to bump the 10 or the 11, or you're going to come too fast. So I kind of started to look at the stripes, and I did like the, the out, the connecting out, which is 10 to the 11, or vice versa, 11, 10. Get back here to this 13, stop on the 13, stop on the 15, that gets you on the 8. So then I just needed to solve this 12, 14, 9. These two balls are easy. If I shoot this 12 stop, I'm on the 14. Then I have to figure out how to get from the 14 to the 9, and that was the tricky part. The easiest shot, which is the KISS principle, keep it simple, just roll forward to this 9 ball, shoot the 9 into the um, bottom left, and then you're over here for this 10 or the 11. So that's what I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to shoot 12 stop to the 14, then I'm going to shoot the 9 to the 10 or the 11, and then the other one to the 13, and should be out. So. Pattern, there's one hard shot in the middle of the pattern, but the rest of them are just basically, you know, stop shots or roll shots. All right, so 12. Now I'm just going to roll up to this 9. I'd like to have a half ball hit on the 9 uh, if I can, so I don't want to roll too far, but I do want to roll up enough to give me a good angle. And that may be a little farther than I like. The reason I want a half ball hit is so that I can shoot center of the cue ball to the edge of the 9. Um, and I don't have to think about aiming. This is pretty close, so the pocket is you know, still pretty big from here. So I'm just going to pocket this ball and drag it up for this 10 ball. And here I'm just going to shoot this 10 up to the 11. I don't, I don't want to have too much angle on the 11. You know, I want to make sure I'm either straight or a little bit up, up uh, across the pocket line. And even if I cross the pocket line just a hair, I can still get shape on this 13, so just don't under hit this ball. That's fine right there. And now I can just roll forward, uh, come off a couple of rails, get on this 13 nicely. And from here, it's basically just a stop shot on the 13. Just shoot the 13 in the side, stop it, you'll run over, bump this to 7 ball, and all is right with the world. So I'm literally straight in, a couple stop shots, and game over. All right, so it's a good pattern. I mean, there's one hard shot in the middle of it, but that shouldn't stop us.